I'm not going to show you how to take the fan shroud off or the fan because there's plenty of videos of that. Plus, I'm just here to show you the installation of the, of the fan itself. So, you can definitely tell which one is uh, better cooling. I mean, you got more, you got more extra fans. As you can tell, maybe I can line up better. Yeah, so you got extra more. Plus, it has an inlet. So it has a dual inlet. This is like, what, like five pounds, three pounds? This, you just feel nothing. Yeah, he printed it this way. I thought it was like this, but he printed it this way. You can definitely tell the way it's been printed on. Anyways. Once you got the fan off, you got a little key. Mine's the Bosch. That will not come out, no matter what, how much try. But, but they do give you this. Basically replacing that with this with their own little washer. But since I can't take that off, and that's stuck in there, and I'm, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not gonna try. It's probably the same, to be honest. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Trial and error, I'll be a little tough subject. Anyways. So you get your little T, screws on the bottom, basically you line it up, just like that. And here's your back plate. So as you can see, there's like a little groove right there. I believe that groove is for the room for the accelerator pump. Anyways, all you have to do is basically line it up, line up through the holes. Voila. Sometimes it might be a little tight fit, Sometimes it won't, that's completely fine. All I have to do is put some washers on there. And just put your, and just put the, the nut in, which is 10 millimeters. Now he did said use um, spring washers, which I don't, or use nylon lock, which I don't. But, you know why I do have? I got blue thread locker, so I'm just going to dab it up just a small amount. All right, so I put a small amount of the third lock. Because it's not gonna be on there like real tight and stuff. You don't want to like tighten it real, like real tight. All you basically, it's basically just hand tight or wrist tight. And just let me tighten the nails up. Okay, now I hand tighten them, basically wrist tight. You, want, you don't want to tighten too hard or you will damage the little neck right there. Basic question. I think it is. 3D printed it. Plastic. But it's um, carpet fiber, composite materials. I think that's what I said. Next, you grab your fan. Basically, you line up the hole, the little key. And voila. What you want to do is get your screws. And just screw it in. Now once our weld are in, basically snug it up. Do I need this is one? Not like super tight, just finger tight. You want to get this, this little thing. It will come in the package. This will basically sit on top of them. So it will not loosen out or nothing. After that, get your little spring washer, put that on, and the nut that's included, and screw it on. Now this needs to only be torqued to 25 foot pounds. And that's it. Now when you tighten it, do not hold the blade because you will break it. Now you can try to hold to this and try and twerk it. But I'm gonna I'm try and do that. So I got my little socket set to 25 and it is a 18 millimeters. I need the basic time to that up. Probably will screwdriver. Alright, 
everything's all hooked up. Now let's give it a shot. Make sure I'm in neutral. Batteries all up. There we go. Fast crank. Fast is blowing. Real nice. Let's see what it feels like. Oh man. <laughs> that's, that's a lot more than uh the last time. Wow. How it is from the bottom. Nice blow of air coming through. Nice. Traveling 40 miles per hour in third gear. RPM is at 3,000. 3, uh, cylinder head temperature is at 300. Oil temperature is like 190, 200, and it is 99 outside. And this is a stock fan. On a highway, try and maintain, try and I'm trying to get to a 70, but we're going uphill. But uh, cylinder heads is like mm, close to 350. Oil temperature is on 220, and right now we're going like 3200, 3500. Right now we're going downhill now. So just maintaining the, I'm just maintaining 70, and it is 1211. So, and it is. 97 outside, so I'll let you guys know later. All the temperature is between 220 and 250. More favor to the 220. Cylinder head is at 325. Right now we're stopped. So, and outside temperature is uh, outside temperature 97. Oil temperature got low to 220. Um, cylinder head, it's under 300. Right now we're getting some more gas. Because I am low on gas. Finally on some gas for that 87. Yeah. $30, 8.9 gallons. Oil temperature is almost 
would say like 190, 200 area. Maybe closer to 210. I'm not sure. And we got a cylinder head temperature at below 300, so 275. This is just the stock, the stock fan. 110. Yeah, this part just now. So oil temperature, uh, 190. Temperature cylinder head, 300. All right, so this is the next day. It's 133. Uh, oil temperature is above 220. And my cylinder head temperature has reached over 350, which is uh, basically not good. <laughs> so right now we're uh, we're getting um and um probably cool it down. Uh, yeah, I, I usually don't drive on the highway during the day because during the day it does get 115 during those hot days, like 115. When I drive, I'm, a, I'm always in like third gear in the city, which is basically 45, and that just and that always gets to my uh, cylinder heads at 350, and giving me 220 Fahrenheit of oil just in the city in Arizona with 2850. But I might as well install the new fan and get the new data up there. All right, so I have been driving for 23 minutes. I'm in fourth gear going like 40 miles per hour oil temperature normal rpm 2000 it has been it has not even went over 250 yet i have been driving for 23 minutes and it has not even went up to 250 plus uh when i do reach uh three uh three thousand rpm and a little bit higher I hear the fan a lot more than the stock one. Plus, this is with the with the fixed flaps. So I gotta say, and it's 93 outside. Be aware, it is 93, and it's not even over 250. Not even at 300 yet. That's pretty impressive. Plus, tomorrow uh, I am going to go out, take my friend to to Arrowhead Mall, uh, and tomorrow is going to be like 110. So that would be a great a great test to see how hot the cylinder heads get. All right. So at the 25 mark, I decide to get into uh, the third gear, try and get up to 3,000 RPMs. 40 miles per hour. Still at the same level. Has not even went up. Oil, I'm not sure. Probably did went up just a little bit. Uh, but I'll see when it's like at one. When it was reach out one, I'll see how it is now. So let's see what time it is it. 44. Oil temperature, still same area, I believe. Decided to look at the camera and drive, but it's still at the same needle, still at the same place. Third gear going 40. Now we're about to go and test highway or the freeway or the 101, whatever you want to call it. We're about to test it out, see how it goes. I'll see you soon.
park there. It actually went up. And but look at this. We passed the 250 mark and we barely got 300. Stop light, stop at the ape. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Okay. Oil, sit on the heads, RPM. A little bit bugged out right now. Don't know why, but. Alright, so three yard green. There's 105 outside. Uh, been driving for, I'd say, like 10 minutes. I'm in fourth gear and fat by a cop. Uh, <laughs> 120, it's above 120. Still on the head is 250, above 250, so 265 maybe. I'm in fourth gear, 40 miles per hour. RPM is uh, two. And yeah, so. All right, I just parked just now. I just turned off the engine. Uh, 190, 200, cylinder head, uh, close to 300. If it was my old fan, it would be different. Old fan would be 220 at 350, and it is, it is 105. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, 646, and it's 104. Uh, Oh, temperature, 190, 200, cylinder head is at 345 or 325. And this is uh, coming out from the highway. Oh, give me that good braking power. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm at a stoplight, so 200, I believe, 200, 210. Cylinder head is actually cooling down, so it's actually on 300. Um, but I'm gonna be in third gear going 45 and it'll probably will cool down faster. Uh, oil temperature, uh, same area, still in the head, it's below 300 now. And that is like, what, like eight minute drive, 10 minute drive, I don't know. Oh yeah. Hi, I just stopped the car, did it, 750. Uh, once, well, I'll say 175, maybe. Um, 275, maybe. I just stop, yeah.